what's your feeling about this whole self-proclamation, so to speak, of Connecticut saying they're the best? Because you can't ask a better guy than you. Don't put me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> New Haven style pizza. Come and take a seat. A pizza, a pizza, it's time to eat. All right, here we go. Episode 18, Charred New Haven Pizza Show. It's Kevin Begley, Frank Zapsky. We are here at We're Back Pizza, right on the Orange West Haven line with Mike. Hey, Mike. How you doing today? Doing well. Thanks for having us here. Yeah, my pleasure. Believe me. <laughs> I mean, I wish people could smell this podcast because <laughs> we got these delicious pies in front of us. Um, but Frank, yeah, you, you've been here a bunch, obviously. This is my first time here. But uh, yeah, thanks for having us. Are you talking to me? I'm, t- I'm sorry. I thought you were looking at <laughs> <up> Frank. <laughs> Frank's in space over there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I missed a cue on that. So this is one of my hidden gems. Now, Kevin and I were talking, Mike, before. Is it, this is like literally on the border of West Haven and Orange. We are right on the, right on the corner. If you go uh, uh, 100 is feet that way. Is it corner or corner? It's a corner. I'm corner? from New York. It's corner. <laughs> <laughs> Already starting. Yeah. yeah. You go. You go 100 feet that way. You're in West Haven. You go 100 feet that way. You're in West Haven. You go 100 feet that way. You're in Orange. Oh, that's I am, funny. I am, I am bordering right on the corner. Awesome. So I want to ask you about the name. We're back, but we're going to leave that for a second because, as Kevin said, you can't smell this obviously over the video, <laughs> but these pizzas smell amazing. The thing that I love about this place is it's different than almost any other, especially around here, New Haven style place. Your pizza is very good, but what I find to be like the hidden gem is these babies here. Um, Look at that thing. I'm gonna lift this up. Talk to us about this pizza. This one here we call the bakery style pizza. This pizza I've been making since 1985. I learned this pizza uh, when I was a kid uh, back in Long Island. I went to work for this place, uh, now called Papa Dell's. Uh, a little shout out to you, Patsy. Uh, Papa Dell's, they made this pizza. Um, the parents, they owned a bakery, and a bakery, a pastry bakery. So they used to make this pizza in the bakery. So they sold the bakery. They went to, uh, they bought a pizzeria, opened the pizzeria, and they kept the, the bakery pizza. They called it bakery because they made it in, a, in the bakery. Yeah. yeah. I've kept that name all these years. So um, a lot of people that try and make this pizza, they call it upside down pizza. Yep. Uh, I, me, I particularly don't like that name. For me, the only thing I know about this, this is the bakery style pizza. Bakery yeah. style Sicilian. So I, I haven't changed a thing on that in, in all these years. It works. And as you know, you're a big fan. Big fan. So for the people out there listening to us, the reason why Mike referenced upside down is because the sauce is on top of the mozzarella. That's correct. Right? Yes, sir. That is right. So if you are a sauce person, I'm a sauce person, when you bite into something, obviously your taste buds are on top and the bottom, but the point being is that you get this incredible tomato taste and you've got probably pecorino or parmesan on top. Absolutely. Frank, as you know, this pizza is not smothered with sauce. It's got just, a, just the right amount of sauce in there. Yeah. So this yeah. pizza is soft on the top yeah, it's- and it's crispy on the bottom. Right, it's got the crunch on the side too. Yes, yeah. and so you got the best of both worlds. Yeah. So you you got if you take the regular Sicilian with a lot of cheese, a lot of sauce, that's 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 very crunchy on the uh, on the bottom because I, I cook it extra, but it's got all that cheese on it. This has got a little bit of mozzarella underneath the sauce. What it does is it keeps the 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 sauce out of the dough. So it doesn't have that heavy feeling. Right. It's it's a very light slice. It, look, it looks like it's heavy. No, it's fluffy. When yeah, it's, it's a, a very light slice. People can eat two or three of these. They don't realize. Yeah, you can even see it right there. Yeah. So would you call this like the Weight Watcher Sicilian? But it's this is this is as you know this this is a winner. I stuck with this all these years. Thank you for the story. So this is also 
you know, this will feed a family of five, I think. You know, we buy one of these large pies, and I think they only come on one size. One size fits all, yeah. And it honestly takes us, you know, two, three days to, to clean up. Um, and it's funny because at my house, everyone likes the corners. <laughs> oh, so yeah. there's four of us, so the corners are immediately gone, and then we go with the edges, and the two in the middle are always the ones that are the last ones because I mean, we like it, but you've got to have an edge Listen, to if it. You're a Sicil- <laughs> if you're a Sicilian eater, everybody knows that the corner is the way to go. Yeah, oh, yeah. You've got to have the corner slice. <laughs> That's awesome. You know, I'm giving going to give you an idea. Maybe you just take this and you make like small little bakeries and have all four corners. <laughs> oh, like, yeah, like a little yeah, individual. Until next Thursday, maybe. You see? <laughs> <laughs> So that's going to be a special pan you use too, right? Yeah, it's a 17-inch pan. Okay. Uh, same thing with the grandma. We, we, we make them both in the same pan. And, uh, but the Sicilian, the, 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 all us Sicilians, we start with the shell. So we make the shells beforehand. We don't... Mm-hmm. We don't yeah, Kevin asked that earlier. When, I, yeah. when I came to Connecticut, I, I saw how Connecticut made Sicilian and mm-hmm. what they do. You got a problem with Connecticut? <laughs> no, I don't. I love Connecticut. <laughs> I'm just saying the way they make their Sicilian over here in Connecticut. Most oh, people. I didn't hear that. Yeah, <laughs> most, most people, most places, they take two doughs, slap it together, throw it in a pan, and then they cook it. Okay. It's a heavy slice. Yeah. Like you said, this is a nice light slice. So we, this takes time. Every day we make shells. And you showed you showed the inside of the you yeah. showed the inside of the pizza. I don't know if you could see it on camera there. It's all honeycombed. That's what gives it that light lightness to the to the pie. So when we make this, we make it. it t- it's a process. We 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 break it down three times. We let it rise. We break it down. We let it rise. We break it down. So there is a process to it. It's not just it's not just putting some dough in a pan and and, and throwing the sauce and cheese on top. It's a home run. Yeah, I it's love it. Thank you. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I want you guys to come check this place out for this for everything, but this one in particular. But the other one we're going to talk about, and we got another one coming as well. So this is so this is the bakery Sicilian. Over here, we got the grandma. Tell us about that. The grandma started out back in the '90s mm. in Long Island. Grandma was sweeping was sweeping Long Island. And I, I can't even tell you how I got to my grandma, but this grandma is not the typical grandma that you would find in Long Island. I, I, listen, I, I do things that I mix and match and, until I find what works for me. Yeah. And this grandma, actually, I, I don't, you know my story that I've been here for a lot of years. Yeah, we, I want you to tell it, but yeah, just keep okay, going so the grandma right going now. Going back, this, this pizza here, the grandma, this made us, this put us on the map. Yeah. Because what we do here is we, we, we got a big slice business over here. So when somebody comes in, I don't care if you're coming in to use the bathroom. <laughs> somebody leaves with something to eat. Right. I cut a half a slice, a third of a slice, whatever it may be. But this pizza here, the grandma, is the one that made us popular. Yeah. It's very thin crust. <clears throat> plum tomato basil Show garlic. Show the picture, Kevin. To hold it up. Yeah. Because, yeah, that's what I noticed right away is how thin it was. Yes, it's extra um. thin. Plum, tomato, basil, garlic. It's got olive oil in the pan, so it fries. Yeah. And then I put more olive oil on top. The combination of flavors, okay. is it, it, it's just a home run. It, it, it just all works well together. The plum, tomato, basil, garlic, olive oil. There's the key. It's a home run. Uh, you can't see the back of my shirt, but the back of my shirt, I have a saying that says... Some people try to duplicate, but nobody can replicate. (laughs) (laughs) I like that. That's a saying on the back of my shirt. I'll show you if we get a chance. And that came from the grandma pizza. Yeah, because I think a lot of people in my head, I think grandma is is thick, is a lot thicker. Uh, At least that's how the way I think of it. Again, going back to Long Island, right? uh, The grandma pizza is thicker. It's made with a regular um, a regular large dough in this pan, which comes up thicker. Which I got a pizza coming out of the oven. I oh, think okay. I see it over there. Nice. You can see the difference. It's made in the same pan, but it's a little bit. It's a yeah. little bit thicker coming out. Yeah. It's it, it, this is supposed to be extra thin. But the thin I like. Yeah. The more, the more. Take a taste, Kevin. I, I, I'm on chard, and this is this <laughs> is this is the only pizza that I make that is really chard. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. 
Yeah, right here on the edge. The, the more well done the grandma pizza is, the better it is. Yeah, it's got, I can't even describe it, but it's a really awesome, heavier tomato taste with the cheese on there, and it's crispy and it's crunchy. Again, this is probably my number one, but number two is that. Yeah, it's incredible. And the crunch, I just love that crunch on the edge. You're right. I, I tell people this is the perfect storm here. Yeah, that's it what, really that's is. What it, that's what it is. This one, I got to get people to try this. They're like, ah, too much sauce. I, I'm, I, I have them try it. They're missing out. Yes, I have them try it, and then they're like, oh, you were right. Or people get intimidated by the size. They think like, oh, that looks really heavy, even though, like very you said, heavy. it's not. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That is a very good point. I mean, most people around here are obviously New Haven style, and I have had a couple of slices of your other pizza, and it's, and honestly, it's probably more New York style ish. I have a fusion of New York, New Haven style pizza. Mm. People ask me, you're from New York, right? Yeah, I'm from New York, but you couldn't tell your accent. New, <laughs> <laughs> New York. My wife makes fun of me to this deck. New York pizza <laughs> is cooked much, much lighter. Yes, it's it's very, very undercooked, like three to five minute bake ish. Maybe a little more, but n not anywhere close to what we do here in Connecticut. Yeah. So when I came over here, um, we were making the New Haven style chard. Yeah. Because that's the way Abate's did it. Yep. This was Abate's when I was managing it. And I called the boss and I said, hey, Lou, I said, the people over here are complaining that the pizzas are too dark. <laughs> I said, we gotta lighten up on the pizza. I guess the orange Milford area, they, they, didn't, they weren't feeling the chard. Yeah. So I lightened up a little bit. So getting back to, I, I, I definitely am not in New York, but I'm also definitely not a New Haven. Yeah, it's a, I you, got a fusion of both. I'm crispy, right in the middle. not raw. It's like how you're not, not orange, but you're not West Haven. Yeah. You're, you're right on the line. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's true, yep, exactly. <laughs> so we gotta ask you, Mike. Yes. And you got to give us an answer. I'll give you the answer. So obviously, unless you've been dead or not listening to <laughs> the radio or TV or social media, there's this big thing about, you know, Connecticut, the pizza capital of the world, blah, 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 blah. And so the governor from New York and New Jersey, and there's a whole big hubbub about this. So, you know, there's no mistake that you are obviously not originally from here. Mm -hmm. um, and I know that your roots are strong, obviously, where you grew up. But... What's your feeling about this whole self-proclamation, so to speak, of Connecticut saying they're the best? Because you can't ask a better guy than you. Don't put me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> it's a matter of taste. That's just basically what it comes down to. It's a matter of taste. People in this area, they're used to the New Haven style pizza. They love that extra well done, that crispy, extra thin. You go to New York, They'll tell you, that's burnt. Yeah. Me, I like my pizzas well done. Yeah. I, I, you just I, saying that because you're gonna live in no, a no. You, now? you you watch anything I eat. <laughs> I, I put it. In, I put it in the oven, and it it it. it you're right. It's crispy. a matter of taste. It's the crunch. I, I even things that aren't pizza. I like the crunch. I like the crunchiness. Uh, a friend of mine, um, he comes up from Long Island. He was doing his friend's daughter over at uh, uh, over at New Haven picking her up or what have you they went they, they went to one of the local spots and he said Mike he says I, I didn't really care for it I'm used to my pizza yeah and again you're talking about night and day yeah you're talking about undercooked to well done so it, it's it really is a matter of taste it's what you grew up with yeah yeah I think Kevin nailed it I tell people all the time a lot of pizza and especially the pizza styles are very regional and so you love what you grew up with meaning you know if you grew up in Long Island with New York style pizza that's what's in your head that's what's in your memory mm -hmm. and although I do know that you've kind of changed a little bit into the char kind of zone um, you know it's hard to get rid of those memories that you grew up with going probably to local pizzeria all the time I'll tell you something I've been in Connecticut over 20 years now so, if I go to Long Island and have a, a slice of pizza, you ask him for chard. It, it, no, it's going to be raw to me. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it'll be undercooked because now I'm used to Connecticut. Yeah. You know, it's not only the, it's not only the cook for me though. I said, you know, I fused New York and New Haven, and like 
New York uses flour. New Haven uses cornmeal. We use a combination of flour and cornmeal. Yeah. Okay? On the we, bottom of the peel. Yes, yeah. exactly. You don't get all that grit, yeah. but you get a little bit of grit. Yeah. Okay? Um, in New York, they'll put a little of grated cheese on there. Oh, on the actual peel. Yeah. No, no. On the on Oh, the on pizza. top. Yeah, on yeah, the yeah. pizza. Over in... Over here in Connecticut, Heavy we, put, we put much more grated cheese. Yeah. yeah. So I, I got both. I use a lot of grated cheese. I use a little bit of cornmeal. I'm not well done, but I'm not raw either. So that's how I say I fused. And you're still not giving me the answer to the question. What was your question? <laughs> <laughs> New York or New Haven? <laughs> I, I, I gave you the best answer. <laughs> oh, jeez, Mike, come on. You're killing me. <laughs> I got to go with the New Haven. I got. Right. There you go. Let me let me put a little asterisk right, on you. Okay. <laughs> just a little asterisk. Now. No, I'm not backpedaling. Just not so well done for me. Okay. Not so charred, burnt for me. Okay. Crispy, yes. Not, not, not typical New Haven. Yeah. A little bit lighter. Yeah. That's all. So Kevin and I have debated this the last couple of episodes about, so Kevin's originally from Boston. He grew up on Domino's. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm the low, sorry. I, 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 I grew up on, right, Boston doesn't really have any, like, known, it, there's a couple places. Umberto's in the North End is really good. Um, but there's a, it really is just neighborhood pizza, you know? It's it's, it's the football style pizza. They yeah. just, like, have, so it wasn't until I came to Connecticut for the first time that I had the New Haven style. So that's kind of different. I didn't grow up with New Haven style, but I, I actually like it better now. He met his two loves, his wife <laughs> and pizza. <laughs> in Conne- yeah, in Connecticut. But where I was going with this was, um, you know, you like what you grew up with, um, but I forgot. I lost my whole train of thought on this one. <laughs> Jesus. Anyways, we'll go on to the next thing. Um, no, I think what I was going to say was I appreciate you being honest because so in my previous career, I spent a lot of time in New York City, slice shops all over the place. And I love a really good New York slice. Mm-hmm. But I also love New Haven. And a lot of people, they get so crazy about, oh, New Haven's the best. And, 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 I, and I think it's really, really good. But where I'm going with this is that you can be a good person and like a lot of different styles. I love a New York style. I love New Haven style. I absolutely love Detroit. Oh, Detroit style is really good, too. If you're a real pizza aficionado. Pizza palate, yeah. You like it all. Yes. I can go into the worst pizza shop in the world, and I will enjoy the slice. Yeah. It, I just love pizza. It's right. It's just Same my here. thing. I've been doing this almost 45 years already. If you yeah. have that pizza palate, you, you, you know you can appreciate all the different styles. Yeah. Yes. So you're going with a split decision on this. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> That's where I got to go. That's where I'm landing. Yep. I want to get the quick story of, of we're back, you know, how, it, how you started, you know, how it got to where it is now. I ran this this place here, this particular place for Abate's. This was Abate. I was working in New Haven. Okay. Down on Worcester Street. Yep. And uh, Lou, the boss, said, listen, I'm getting that shop over there. I want you to go and do your thing. My thing, meaning the slice counter and the strombolis. Yep, and, yep. And I said, okay. So he, he sent me over here. <clears throat> he got the store. I actually I actually built the store. I, I not these counters, but the original counters, this doorway, the floor, the walls. The bathroom? The bathroom I didn't touch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, no, that's not true. I did put, a, I did put new toilets in. But um, so my heart and soul was here. I brought the equipment in. I arranged it. I, I designed it. I laid it out. And um, I was here from the beginning. The end of 2010, we got started building this place. Mm -hmm. And we opened in um, uh, June. I believe it was June of 11. Okay. And we started doing our thing. And there's not many places for slices. Yeah. So we became a hit. The grandma got us off the ground. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. And we had a a big business. We were... when I say big, don't get me wrong. I'm not, yeah. so I'm not in the league with the big, the big three, the big five, whatever you want to call them. Um, but we had, we, had a good, we had a good pizza shop over here. You know, we did a lot of deliveries 
Friday nights we do like 120, 130 deliveries. We'd have 15, wow. 12 to 15 delivery guys going out. That's crazy. And um, so we had not one, but we had two fires. We had oh. we had a, a, a high tech oven. It was a rotating oven. Yeah. And it, the guy that worked on it for us, he told us, I go all over the country. He says, these ovens are notorious for going up in flames. Oh, man. So after the second fire in 2019, uh, it was just taking way too long. There was a big investigation going on between the oven people and the uh, people who clean the oven and the insurance companies. And I'm, I said, Lou, listen, I have another opportunity. And I bought into a place uh, up by my house in, in Old Saybrook. Okay. And um, that lasted a couple of years. Yep. And uh, I told my wife, I said, listen, I, I've been doing this over 40 years. I said, I, I had enough. I said, let's... Let's go retire. Did you make people in Long Island? I mean, make people. <laughs> make pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Did you make pizza in Long Island? Oh, God, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, for years, since I was a kid. And uh, uh, I sold my, my half of the business. I sold my house. We moved to Florida. Hmm. And I was kind of chilling by the pool. I was, nice. I was hanging out. And uh, I wasn't ready, really ready to retire, but I was taking yeah. a good year off. And... My pizza guy calls me, and he said, because after I left, the Bates had sold a couple of months later. And the, and the guy that bought it, the poor guy, I, I don't know if he thought he was just going to come in and make a ton of money, but right. he, he didn't have a grasp of the business. Yeah. He wasn't in the business, and they went out of business in like six months or so. What year was this? This was 2020. Okay. 20 so sort of near COVID times mm, yeah it was, I'm sorry wait a minute I call it, they they reopened in 20 so I, I forget my time frames but maybe it was 21 okay. 22 somewhere in that area so that's when you were in Florida I was in Florida yep. you know and what I, year it is now Mike or no yeah Bailey <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to keep <laughs> track don't, I'm don't with you. Day hey is. where's our other pizza it never came <laughs> <laughs> Alfredo can you bring that pizza over here please the pepperoni <laughs> so I uh, I get a call from my from my pizza guy who is still working for the new owner. One pause, Mike. There's no R in pizza. Pizza, <laughs> pizza. You said pizza. That's what. That's the way I say it. Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Just like the pizza you like. Yeah, it's the way you say it. <laughs> so uh, he calls me and says, "Hey, Mike." He says, "Now he's speaking broken English. I'm speaking broken Spanish, and we're talking on the phone. <laughs> we're talking for a half an hour. He tells me that they went out of business." I said, went out of business. I said, how'd they ruin a business like that? Mm. And please. And I get off the phone. I'm sitting at my kitchen island, and my wife is sitting right here to the left of me, and I'm talking half Spanish, half. She, <laughs> I hang up, and she's like, what's that all about? And I turned to her, and I said, Chrissy, we're back. She looked at me and says, what do you mean we're back? Right. I'm by the pool. Where are we? I we're said, back where? I said. We're getting the band back together. Let's, yeah, that's exactly what I told <laughs> <Nice>. everybody. <laughs> I love that. So I told her, let's go, let's go back to Connecticut and take the pizzeria back. And she said, absolutely not. You are out of your mind. <laughs> and so it took a little convincing. I said, Chrissy, because we were the face of the business. Yeah. yeah. We were here every day. Yeah. They didn't, they, it was Abate's, but they didn't know who, right. who Lou was. You know, right. it was me. I, I, when I told people I'm just a, an employee, they're like, now, come on, you own this place. I'm like, no, I'm, I just work here. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm humble like that, you know? Yeah. So um, I took a little convincing. And then when we started to get into it a little bit, I said, hey, Chrissy, I said, I'm going to use that name, We're Back. She says, really? And I said, yeah. I said, because people are going to ask, well, who is back? Is Abate's back? Is the guy who ruined the business back? <laughs> or is that guy with the bald head back? <laughs> Mr. The Clean. Boss. You're and Mr. When, Clean. And when people, saw, when people saw that we were back, a lot of the old clientele, they all came back. I got a whole new clientele. And I got a lot of the old clientele that came back. I love that story. It's a great way to do the name. I was telling Frank before we started, he, we had an email exchange about where we were going to record next. Yeah. And he said, we're back on the Orange West Haven line. And in my head, for like a, two days, I was like, is it somewhere we've recorded before? Yeah. Like, and then I realized that it had said wait, he get, that it was called that. And I was like, oh, that's, that's fantastic. I got, a, I got a friend who I kept in touch with over in the gas station over here. His father's owned it for 50 years. And so I kept in touch with him. And I said, hey, Bob, I said, I said put it out there that, that I'm coming back. Yeah. So he puts it get out. the word there. out. 
and uh, no, it's over here. So um, he puts it out there that Mike and Christine, formerly of Abate's, are coming back, and the new name of the pizzeria is We're Back Pizza. Yeah. Oh boy, did I catch backlash for that? <laughs> what, what kind of people saying? People saying, "What kind of stupid name is that? <laughs> Couldn't you do better than that? What kind of name is that?" Well, I got people I, talking. That's exactly what I yeah. said. I, I love said, it. They're gonna they're gonna talk about it. They're gonna want to find out what is what is that? What is that stupid name? Let me go in and say. Yeah. I had a guy comes in, and uh, he's out in the parking lot, and he comes in. And he starts yelling to his wife, it's him. It's him. He's back. His wife, oh, is, out in, his wife is out in the car. Cheering. Clapping. They were cheering me on. I that's was like, awesome. oh, my God. Let me tell you something. We ever getting I, this pizza? I, yeah, it's coming. I knew, the, I, knew that, I knew that we would get a good response. Yeah. But the response was overwhelming. It was overwhelming. It was more than you even thought. M- much more. I That's thought people awesome. were going to be happy. They were going to get some. They were going to get some good food. They were going to get some good pizza. But the heartwarming, overwhelming response that we came back was was truly. It was truly amazing. It really was. And you told me offline that you know you're consistently growing month by month, year by year. Oh it's God, just, yeah. It's upward trend. Yeah. Yes. Now's our time. It's our time. Uh, uh, Fall through the new year. Fall through the new year. Here she is, my there beautiful we go. This wife. This is what we were waiting for. Nice. Look at that one. Oh, that's wow. Nice. Okay, awesome. so Thank we you. have over here. We got a, uh, a a vodka sauce on the bottom with pepperoni, with hot honey. Oh, that, that's right up my alley. I with love a se- the hot honey. With a sesame seed crust. Sesame seed crust. It's. Uh, I started oh, making man. it not too long ago, actually, and. The people are loving it. Oh, Frank got a good, re- good response Ooh. out of it. He was shocked. There was some. There's something about that hot honey. Even when I make pizza at home, like I use the hot honey on it, and it's just it, it, the taste with the sauce. It's great. I, the vodka sauce and, and yeah, the, the honey. I don't know why they, they they go together really good. So we got to wrap this up, but a couple things quickly to reiterate what Mike said. I was here last week. I always get my grandma and my bakery, and Mike put this on in my uh, box. And I went out and I had a quick bite on it. And, I, and I'm not, I'm, I'm a kind of a traditional pizza guy. So I wasn't really into the hot honey and I'm not a big vodka sauce guy. But I'm like, let me give it a shot. I took one bite of it. <laughs> freaking amazing. <laughs> nice. I brought, I only ate half. I brought the other half home for my wife. She loved it. And some of these are going to go to her. But this is a must try. If you haven't. It's a popular pizza. It surprised me. I don't even know how I came up with it. I must have seen it. You know, I see things online and stuff, yeah. and I'll, I'll, I'll fit it to what I do. Yeah. And I, I, that's where I must have came up with that. And uh, it's only a couple of months I'm making that, but it's very popular. That's awesome. Good pizza there. That's it. All right, episode 18. Mike, I love the story of this place. You know, if anyone's ever in this area, Orange West Haven line on Boston Post Road, definitely come see Mike. Get, get a grandma slice. Get all these slices. It, it's yeah. the best. And they've got other pizzas here. They've got stromboli. they got stuffed bread. they got yeah. dinners. So it's not just a pizza place, but this, I think, th- these are these are the, the gold gems right here. Yeah. I appreciate you having me. Appreciate you coming down here and, yeah. and doing the show from here. And best of luck with everything going forward, too. Everything's moving along real nicely. I appreciate it. Thank We're you. back. You're back. We are back. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right. Thanks, everyone, for watching and listening. Make sure you subscribe on YouTube, on all the podcast channels, social media. You can follow us, Charred New Haven. And remember, it's not burnt. It's charred, baby. <laughs> New Haven style pizza. Come and take a seat. A pizza, a pizza. It's time to eat.